Hey YouTube, it's Budget Bug Out, and in this video we're going to be talking about what's inside my fire survival kit. Now, as you all know, I integrate fire starting capabilities in all of my everyday carry and bug out gear and accessories. I really think that fire uh, starting capabilities can be the difference between life and death in a lot of different instances, such as it not only gives you the ability to stay warm and help you uh, help prevent hypothermia, but it can also uh, cook your food as well as purify water. So because of that, redundancies for fire is very important. You don't necessarily need a kit this size. Maybe you want a bigger one. Maybe you want a smaller one. Uh, whatever suits your needs. But I'm going to be uh, diving in what's in my kit and linking everything that you can find in it in the description box down below so you can find it on Amazon. Stay with me. I'm going to share with you what's inside my kit. So one of the questions that I got asked a lot you know, when I debuted this fire starting kit in my zombie survival kit is where did I get those patches from, uh, specifically the fire patch. And I got these from and other morale patches uh, as well as fire standing capabilities and other outdoor everyday carry and tactical gear from a subscription services known as Apocabox and Battlebox. And actually in February they had fire starting themed boxes that they sent out so I did I did want to give them a little bit of a shout out um, thanking them for all the cool gear that they send me every month uh, like they do in Battlebox or every other month like they do for Apocabox. Uh, as far as uh, this wood right here um, on a day like today it's going to be difficult to find dry tinder um, there are ways to circumvent that but you can also carry uh, basically known as fat wood, which is um, wood tinder, basically, that has a pine resin already on it and in it, inside of it, which is going to retain a flame even longer. Let's go ahead and bust this open, uh, change the camera's perspective, and show you guys what's inside. All right guys, so let's go ahead and start diving into the contents. I'm gonna go through these pretty quickly so you guys get a quick rundown. If you have any questions, be sure you check out the links for these items in the description box down below. But you can see I have a couple of InstaFire fire starters and these are good for basically all of the needs that you guys are gonna come across in the outdoors. Um, and it even works in conditions like now where it's gonna be wet and rainy um, and you basically pour it out. It's, it's not harmful or anything like that to uh, the outdoors. You put a flame to it and then you uh, place the wood on top and build your fire in that way. So I got two of those. Other things that I have are some tinder quicks. And for those of you who don't know what tinder quick is, basically um, they're, it's made out of cotton, uh, but you open it up. It has some, uh, some uh, fueling uh, substance inside of it and you flare it out and it takes a flame and uh, it holds a flame for a while. And then uh, some other uh, fire tabs as well. This is what's known as live fire. And I actually have a couple of these. I have the sport and the full size edition. Uh, but the way that this works is that um, you slide the lid off and then you scrape some of the wax material off of the, uh, basically the tinder. And you can use ferrocium rod uh, in order to light this or you can use an open flame and then whenever you're done um, you simply slide the lid closed and that will um, cut off the oxygen thus extinguishing the flame. Other items that I have is I have a backup striker as well as a guitar pick um, but this is also a, a way that you can move the flame if you so desire. But be careful kids and of course now is a good time as any as to leave the disclaimer don't play with fire, don't play with matches. Um, speaking of which, here's some waterproof matches. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. These are very inexpensive. I mean, you can buy a box of four for only a few bucks. And then we also have uh, some Light My Fire Fire Tinder, which is also very fine tinder. I'll open it up real quick. But you can see some wood shavings, nice and dry in, in that um, tub right there. 
We also have what's known as a bellow, and basically the way that a bellow works is that you uh, blow through this end and it'll funnel the air and the oxygen down to the coals of the uh, fire, um, thus uh, fueling the fire without extinguishing the flame. It's very important that you, uh, that you keep your coals stoked whenever you're in the outdoors. A few other items in this kit include the Zippo Cedar Fire Starter. You don't necessarily need this entire block here. Um, you can just break off a piece and whenever I was hanging out with the Koreans going camping and enjoying some s'mores, uh, we used this in order to start that fire as well as to cook our food. Uh, the next a couple items we have utility flame um, and this is a type of gel that uses uh, alcohol in order to maintain its flame but you have to be very careful uh, with those types of substances because it it burns a kind of a clearish blue uh, flame and you really don't know it's on fire until you put a piece of tinder next to it and, and uh, or touch it <laughs> which I don't recommend another item here is a, a Frenzo Fresno lens <laughs> and yeah it's basically it's a magnifying glass but in direct sunlight which I don't have right now but in direct sunlight this can be a reusable starting method to uh, start fires. The last item I have on this side of the kit is a ferroseam rod with a striker for light my fire. It also has a whistle integrated into the design of the handle. I can demo it at the end of the video. I just don't want to blow it now for any of those who might be watching with headphones. Um, it also has reflective cordage on it to help be able to find this easier at night. Um, I always try to start my fires with ferro rods before I use an open flame. Uh, we also have some more tinder here. This is hemp cord with uh, pine resin in it attached to a piece of wood. And we'll, we have some Bic lighters. This one has a bunch of duct tape uh, rolled on it. This is kind of a uh, survival hack for any of the guys who are uh, making survival kits. And we got live fire which is this uh, this is a sport version of the larger i uh, think one i just showed you as well as something that's known as fire fuses and this is a lot of fun um these these are very inexpensive on amazon and you know it doesn't take up a lot of space but these hold flames for a while and I, i've used these in the past so i have two of those and we have some uco uh, weatherproof matches and these are different than the other fireproof matches in that these can actually be submerged for a short period of time and then it will come back out of the water uh, still with a uh, flame so that's pretty cool and then moving on to what I have in the back is I have a Mora light my fire knife and this has a ferrocene rod integrated into the handle of it and it can be used with the back of the spine in order to, uh, to to make sparks so I really like that it has that capability if you guys are looking for a good uh, survival knife or bushcraft knife is to find one that has a 90 degree spine uh, like this one and it's going to be very uh, sharp feeling in the back um, and that can be used with the ferro rod in order to uh, make sparks and the last item that I have to show y'all is something that's known as a paleo stove which is a wood burning stove. It's very lightweight. It doesn't take up much space and there's no reason for you guys not to buy something like this. Uh, basically the way it works is that you uh, feed uh, wood into it, the base of it and then the flame and all of the heat is going to rise in a much more concentrated capacity than it would be if you were just using an open flame on in you know in, in like a camp style in a, in a campfire uh, fashion hey guys thanks for watching my fire survival kit video before i demo this whistle i wanted to let you guys know of one last tip and that's you can take cotton balls dip them in vaseline and encase those in uh duct tape and those make great lightweight budget-friendly uh compact uh, fire tabs that you guys can include into your kits um, just like I included a bunch of uh, different items into my kit. You don't necessarily need as many redundancies as I have in my kit in yours but I do recommend that you do have uh, backups in case one of them fails because you don't want to be stuck out in the woods and not be able to start a fire. It literally could mean the difference between life and death.
I do also wanted to make mention uh, that to remind y'all, kids don't play with fire and that you can find all these items on Amazon.com. I'll be leaving the links for them in the description box down below. And that helps the channel, that helps me make more content like this. Y'all stay safe out there and remember, it pays to be prepared. God bless.